Well, it's Tim with Tada Farm. Today is October 25th, Friday, and we're going to get the last field of beans. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to put the head on. So we get to the field, we're going to do that. All right. I want to show this. I didn't record it when we hooked up to the head the other day. But you can see how this is an angle. And now you see the head right now, the way it is on the combine, it's straight up and down. So when it pulls up to it, and we pull up to it, I can get up underneath here with the top and the bottom's not getting in the way of this. Where if this isn't on a header cart, then this is gonna be straight up and down and you could run into problems as that head comes up to it wanting to push against this and you can't get the top lip in. So they make brackets that hold that head back. I don't use them, but that's why it holds the bottom of the head back against this point right here, and that way you can hook up to it. So hopefully that helps make sense there. We're gonna hook up to the head now. I don't have quick connects on this. The trick is that hole's got to line up and I need about that much space to make it work. I believe I got it. I'm getting better at it. Let's see if the other side goes in. It takes me three or four attempts. This time it just took me two. And then you just tighten that up. It don't have to be balls of the wall tight, but tight. The newer combine took into this little bracket right here with a quick connect thing, but these don't. And then you still gotta do the change. Let's tighten the other side up. I'll see if I can show you this. That's all it does. The other side goes on the same way. Next thing we got to do is get away from the header cart because I got to lower the head down so that I can hook up the hoses. Two hoses run the reel. And one hose uh, runs the real height. So but it's a lot easier if I lower this down to about right there. Let's go hook the hoses up. This one does a real height, and it hooks up right there. Now that's the same handle that runs this variable speed head when you're running a corn head. So we're all hooked up. We're going to walk around, look at a few things, make sure everything's ready to go, and we're going to get started today. Well, we had a little breakdown. Um, we're getting by without it. I'll show you here in a second, but we caught a, a, a branch the other day and everything looked fine, but evidently I didn't see where it twisted that piece. So, hold on, let's get turned around. Well, I'll insert some video here. There, it's on the right side, but one of those arms that goes up to the reel, it's on the outside, it's what controls the arm to make it go like this so it doesn't flip around. But 
it broke off right there at the, the circle part there. But it's working. We're gonna get these beans off. Uh, but my son's gonna run and get that here, hopefully here in a little bit. He shows up with the wagons. So, well, let me get turned around here and we'll talk about this field. And hopefully this Audi is a little better than the other day. It was planted on June 7th with the other fields. I finished this up in the dark. And so far looking at it, I didn't have any misses. So that GPS really helped out. So anyway, we're gonna get across here. And we'll check the yield here in a little bit. Not the yield, the moisture. But things are looking pretty good. Hopper's filling up pretty quick. So this is a six acre field and I think I planted 5.8 what the uh, GPS said last spring. So, but yeah, you might be able to see that bar every once in a while. It doesn't go all the way across. This section here stays fine. It's just this middle section and the right section that are flipping around there. Uh, it seems to be all right, so we're just going to keep right on keeping on. So we'll get turned around here. Yeah, so far this is looking pretty good. Uh, last year, this is my best field. I got 62 bushels an acre on it, but uh, I, I don't expect that this year. My best before that was. 45 so I was shocked but we're doing things a little better got an agronomist involved helping us out some so but uh, yeah it's it looks pretty good out here now this this is that field I was talking the other day it's got a uh, maturity of a 3.3 and a 3.6 they're both rough seeds but um, yeah, every once in a while you'll see some green plants out there that three sixes are just a little behind the others, but hopefully mixing together it'll be all right on moisture. So we'll check it here in a little bit. But we're expecting a bunch of rain tonight and then this weekend. So it's get them now or who knows when. But... Uh, Anyway, we'll get back here in a little bit and let you know how things go here at the end. A lot of people say these didn't have uh, automatic or whatever. You had to do them manually, but 74, 6600, it, it latches, but you got to click it there to make it go all the way. So... That's how you set that up. And I'm full. So we're gonna get her unloaded. Well, we're pulling into the grain elevator and there's a semi pulling it in front of us. So we'll have to wait on him, but the new pit they put in here dumps pretty quick. So we're pulling doubles here, um, field's done. Sorry I didn't get any more video, but with that broken part on that reel, I was really paying attention to that. I didn't wanna have any issues with that breaking little railroad track here but uh we're gonna pull into sunrise here and let you see how they do their stuff here um it's all electronic so anyway here we go let's see how it goes i think it sticks down into the grain there and it takes a sample and it sends it inside and they test it they're looking for foreign matter, moisture. Please wait. That little sign there knows it's me. Hello. Are we just selling tonight? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, sample take and proceed to scales. Both wagons on there, and we're gonna watch a little sign there. Go to dump pit two. Three, I couldn't read it. It said what it was. Well, that's all you do at the scales. And it looks like we got a truck with a wagon and a semi truck to unload, so we're gonna have a few minutes to wait. But uh, anyway, that's kind of how it goes here. We'll be back with the ticket, let you see how it went. Well, they actually got me going to a different pit here. So we'll see how this goes. I stay to the left, give them plenty of room since they dumped to the right. We'll be back. All right, we're dumped. And then we head up here to the outbound scales. And they weigh us here. And we jump out and grab a ticket. there watch the little sign well let's see here moisture was 13.8 which I was getting 13.4 to 13.7 when I was testing so that's probably about right um, foreign matter was 40% and uh, gross bushels was uh, 3.19 net bushels was 313 so that's about 52 bushel an acre on that field too so all in all man i am very very pleased um, we had a good year uh considering how things started out so hey thank you thank you subscribers i hope you learned something on my channel i know some of you do so hey you guys have a good day thanks for watching